nobody can predict where they will end up in life. Despite your greatest efforts to plan for and secure your future, life happens. And for many, the dream of a restful and exciting retirement has proved to be nothing but a pipe dream. 85-year-old Abraham Akwenye worked for most of his life, first as a prison guard and then as a customs officer. He and his wife built a four-bedroom house in Katatura, where he still lives with three of his unemployed daughters and their five children. He supports nine people with the allowance that he gets from the government. I don't know. It's just too little. You can't buy clothes. You can't buy nothing. You can't even buy food. There is no running water at Abram's house and the lights were cut by the municipality just this week, meaning they have to now cook with a fire outside. The municipality doesn't give a damn. You just sleep hungry and thirsty. His daughter Claudia Shipena has been caring for her ailing father for many years, but she too is unemployed and has to endure some tough situations. At the moment the porridge is also finished. I have at least still got this omahangu that needs to be crushed. Because the municipality cut our water, I have taken the fish and chicken I had to the neighbor's fridge so that it doesn't get rotten. Other pensioners have it a little better than Abraham. They accommodated at Senior Park in Panyas Park, where they pay a nominal fee for a small apartment, but have more access to charitable services. Still, the challenges they face are enormous. No, well, I never knew I'd end up here, but this was the only alternative because you know you cannot live with children. Henry Farmer ran his own business as a technician for more than 20 years and did not imagine that he would one day end up living in a retirement home. Finances left him no other choice. That is why I'm sitting here in senior park. If you are not having any insurance or something then you're sitting in the dark. Dainki Kutsia ran a successful construction business and he and his wife has also made Senior Park their home. I thought I would live a peaceful life, like a normal person, not living under pressure, being chased and struggling with money, which is my biggest problem now. There are many old people who gather to hear what Dainki and I are talking about, and they too are eager to tell their story and be heard on the pension issue. Tuki Tobin has been living at Senior Park for 12 years and says without the support of her children, she too would have just withered away. It's, you know, it's a miracle that we are still alive because we have to pay our rent, our electricity, food. We can't even afford to buy cosmetics or things like that. We brush with a wooden piece our teeth because we can't afford it. 71-year-old Valerie Isaacs believes that the government should at least give pensioners an allowance of $1,200 because the costs of living are skyrocketing. Old age comes with its challenges, including the inability to work long hours and the ever-looming threat of illness. Perhaps it is time for each and every citizen to reevaluate the treatment of all old people in our society so we can contribute to making their last days on earth a little more bearable.